Should I stay single or should I date? This is a question that we may often ask ourselves. With social media, many of us are bombarded with posts that either glorify the joys of singlehood or praise the benefits of companionship. Some argue that being single is a bold step towards self-sufficiency, while others swear that being with a special someone is better than the sweetest honey. This can make us wonder, is it better to be single or to be in a relationship? In this video, we will compare the benefits of both singlehood and romantic relationships and give you an opportunity to decide whether you should date or remain single. Heart attack. Neil Young once sang a song called, Only Love Can Break Your Heart. But did you know that love can also save you from a heart attack? In a longitudinal study published in 2016 by National Library of Medicine, adults who were never married, divorced, or widowed were at significantly greater risk of dying after a heart attack than adults who were married. In fact, the researchers found that current marital status was the most robust indicator of surviving a heart attack out of all other factors, including socioeconomic status, psychological health, and behavioral factors. So, while being single can be liberating, it's also important to take care of your health and surround yourself with people that can support you. Social circle. A study by Professor Naomi Gertzel at University of Massachusetts explored some of the side effects of committed relationships, including the lack of social connections. Their study determined that married couples were less likely to visit, call, or write to people outside of their relationship, which included family and friends. Married couples were more likely to disengage from their neighbors and less likely to spend time with their friends. So, if you're in a committed relationship, taking the time to reach out to your family and friends can give you the opportunity to expand your social circle outside the scope of your relationship. Emotional support. When life gets you down, you may want someone to give you a hug and say, it's gonna be okay. That's where being in a relationship beats singlehood. In 2014, professors Katarzyna Adamczyk and Chris Surgeon conducted a survey on 553 young adults between the ages of 20 to 30, who were asked to fill out questions on their relationship status, as well as their mental, social, and emotional well-being. The survey suggested that people who were in a committed relationship felt more emotionally supported than their counterparts. Though it is clear that both singles and couples were going through many challenges, those in romantic relationships reported feeling emotionally safer. However, if you still wish to be single, it's important for you to find a healthy group of friends that can help you through difficult times. Intrinsic reward. What do you value in this world? Some people may value extrinsic things like money, while others value something more intrinsic like fulfillment. If you are single, you are more likely to value intrinsic rewards than if you were in a committed relationship. In a 2005 panel of 709 young adults conducted by Dr. Monica Kirkpatrick Johnson of Washington State University, couples were more likely to attach less meaning to intrinsic rewards compared to singles. This was especially true for people with children since parents require more money to provide for their family. It's possible that for many couples, especially those with children, providing for their family is a number one priority over all other things, such as fulfillment in their work. Recovery help. Stress can be deadly, and this is especially true if you're recovering from a major illness. In a 2020 article published by Psychoneuroendocrinology, Dr. Schrout and her team of researchers found that breast cancer survivors who were in healthy relationships had lower levels of stress, which in turn was linked to lower levels of inflammation. They suggested that the lower levels of inflammation help patients with quicker recovery. The key here, of course, is that they were in healthy and satisfying romantic relationships. This goes to show the importance of having a healthy social network that can provide you with emotional support when you need it most. Body weight. According to a study conducted by Social Science and Medicine, singles across nine European countries had lower BMI than people who were married. The article suggested this could be because the married couples reported paying less attention to their weight and exercising less than their single counterparts. This was despite the fact that those who were married preferred to eat healthier foods. But if you are in a romantic relationship, you can make the decision to stay healthy by working together. All in all, there are wonderful reasons for both being single and being in a relationship. Therefore, it's hard to say that one is better than the other. If you are single, enjoy your singlehood as much as you can. If you're in a committed relationship, work with each other to make meaningful experiences. In the end, true happiness and satisfaction, whether you're single or in a relationship, can only come through honest self-evaluation, hard work, 
and being content with where you are in your life. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share with friends. Until next time, and remember, you matter.